Okay, so um, decided to do another pencil uh, project, um, and this one is going to be a pencil pot. Um, so uh, I've started gluing some pencils together again. Um, just to make a note here, really, um, if you're ever going to do a pencil project, it, it is uh, advisable to um, start off really uh, careful and slow um with these gluing these pencils making sure they're all level as level as possible really i've got some clamps here some new clamps i bought recently in b and q very good for doing little pencil projects so um you sort of glue it all up really uh initially and just get it all tight and make sure it's as level as possible because otherwise you know uh, if the first two or three aren't level um you know you find uh that later on down the line of gluing it starts to end up all over the place really so here what I've done is um, I've stuck a piece of um, ebony in between um, good for effect but also more more importantly really for when I stick it on the lathe it's going to have something more secure uh, to, to fix to whereas these pencils are not going to be very good to do that um, you've got to rub it down pretty um, pretty well get a good flat surface to uh, on these pencils so you can get a, a nice good grip when you glue it up um, as you can see here I've got uh, got it all clamped up in now um, using some really good glue which is the Gorilla Glue um, this is uh, the stuff I'm, I've decided to use these days pretty good stuff um, lots of different types of glue on the market for these types of jobs but I find this is really is is, is, is tough stuff so um, that's quite good. I'm leaving that to set. I leave this to set overnight, really, um, just to make sure everything's you know secure as possible. I say when you're doing these pencil projects, they really are very delicate, so you've got to be um, pretty careful when you're putting them in the lathe. Um, so uh, that's all clamped up. Uh, next, um, I'm going to get it ready for the lathe. So I've got it all clamped up there now. I've got three layers of pencils uh, together and you can see from from there how kind of tight they are together they're pretty pretty tight and obviously you don't really want any gaps but I have had gaps in there before which I've managed to sort out by basically putting some CA glue in the gaps and then just filling them with sawdust that does seem to work so if you're ever doing one of these projects and you know and you come across some gaps which you know is is fairly common um, in these types of things so um put some ca glue in there some thin ca glue um and um just fill it with sawdust um and that seems to come out all right really for me so i've got it on the lathe here now started turning it and again with these types of projects you've got to be um fairly careful with um with roughing them out really so um just very gentle uh, movements really on the on the lathe really just to sort of try and get it into some kind of shape uh, initially um, so I'm not pushing too hard on it at all really um, using a, a carbide cutter here which is really good I've uh, just recently bought uh, and the uh, guy I bought it from the websites below uh, really good stuff and really good nice chap as well um, and um, you know he's, he's um, given me some some new blades and bits and pieces but yeah I, I do find it a really good um cutter actually so it's a carbide cutter uh, and that works very well for doing these uh, especially doing these little pencil projects as well uh so we're getting some sort of uh some sort of shape uh, now as you can see um at this stage i'm kind of thinking it's just going to be just one big pencil pot um with no uh lid or anything but as I started to turn um, as you can see here I kind of formed the shape uh, with a with a potential lid on it so I thought well that actually looks quite cool um, so I thought I'd carry on and, and try and uh, cut the top off and, and uh, make a lid out of this uh, pot um, with all these things really um, when you're doing these types of projects or any project really you know I've got sort of like a size in my head of what I think it's going to end up like and after you've finished it, turning it out um, it always ends up a lot smaller so you know uh, I probably should have gone with maybe five 
uh, layers of pencils probably and maybe a thicker piece of wood in the middle um, if I was going to do this again because by the time you finished um, as you'll see it's um, quite a tiny pencil pot which holds probably a few pencils um, so uh, I've cut the lid um, now find out where I want the lid to go and, and with this type of project I'm, I've stopped the lathe and I'm cutting it off here with a little saw um, I have gone right through, which some people do go right through with the with the uh, um, cutting the lid straight off using the parting tool. Um, but I didn't want this to drop on the floor and break into bits, so I sort of cut it off really. Um, and uh, there we there we go. So I'm going to get the the uh, the top now, uh, the lid into a the chuck, uh, and start kind of um, making that good which I've done and skipped here, as you've seen. Um, now I've got it back out um, and, and put the base in there. Um, I've got some tape on here because um, it wasn't a secure fit as I kind of wanted it to be. I didn't really have much wood left um, to go further down and start again with the with the lid because um, you know, otherwise it will be quite a small pencil pot, as you can probably imagine. So I kind of had to deal with... Um, just leaving it as as that. I mean, it still fits okay. Don't get me wrong. You know, it still fits right. It just wasn't very tight. So uh, what I've done here is I've put some some masking tape uh, up here so I can finish the lid. Really finish turning the lid um, without it flinging off. Um, which you know um, some turners do do. Um, just to sort of like secure it and um, just while I'm just finishing the lid. So I've done that. Um, it's starting to take some kind of shape now. Um, looking pretty good. Um, I think I've started rubbing it down slightly, but again, with these pencil projects, you can't really rub them down. Um, so don't, if you're going to do one of these, don't go and get a load of sandpaper to it um, and expect a, a really nice finish because that's not going to happen. Because what happens is, is the um, the pencils uh, come off onto the sandpaper and then just go all over the wood, and it just looks horrendous. So you've got to do. Um, kind of fairly light sanding, uh, which I found best using some really really coarse paper, just a bit of light sort of just to get you know get something from it, and then um, and then just very lightly with a a bit of fine paper, it, it seemed to come up all right. Um, so I put the base in here now. Uh, made a little jam chuck there as you can see, so I can sit sit the base in because the the chuck that I've got was too big. To hold this little pot because it's so tiny after all of that wood and all those pencils it's actually quite a small um, pot uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm actually putting some CA glue on it to try and um, give it a bit of a shine um, it actually works quite well um, so really just a bit of CA glue on a on a cloth whilst it's turning um, and just spin it around and I'm pretty happy with it, really. Um, it's turned out okay. So uh, here's the uh, finished product with uh, four pencils in it. And that's all it holds. So uh, it's uh, it's okay. You know, it's uh, it's turned out all right. I was I quite enjoyed doing this one as well, just like the bowl project. Um, so if you uh, if you like uh, see some more pencil projects, please like and subscribe. I will be doing a couple more. Um, so I'm not sure what they're going to be yet, maybe another couple of bowls, but um, hope you enjoyed watching.